<laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We're gonna have to, because here's the thing, we gotta talk about this. Who is the most at fault? Okay, Andrew, we're gonna determine percentages. Now, well, who, now, like, let's say the first one, like I said, Piccolo, him being a, him fighting 17, a beacon, that way, Cell, he's far away, he just absorbed the people in Nikki Town, probably going off to another town, he can sense Piccolo's energy, he flies straight over to there, finds Android 17 and 18 there too, so he comes to go get him, alright? So, even though, like I said, Piccolo had no way of knowing so gotten that strong in that short amount of time, but still, should have been more careful. And then, of course, 17, being stupid, just, you he's, know... He's a young teen. He's going to be He's arrogant. a young teen, but come on. It's like, one, they're telling him the wrong way, and then he just starts gloating after 16 told him, hey, I did not beat Cell with that Herald's Flash. He's still around here somewhere. And then, just like that, he gets absorbed because Chris Cell creeped up behind him because he had a big mouth and didn't notice. But then, here's the thing, like, the next person who... Then this is a lesser example of it. This is a bit of a lesser example. Tien. Now, the reason I say it's a lesser example... The reason I say that this is a lesser example... Now, here's a... Remember when Tien was spamming the Neo Tri-Beam and it was strong enough to at least hold Semi-Perfect Cell back? Why didn't he just hit Android 18 with that? Yeah. Considering. Because se semi-perfect cell is way stronger than 18 at that point. So TN could just turn it on her, just blow her up, because apparently that move is that too is. apparently that move is that fucking strong, or at least damage her to the point where Cell wouldn't get any use out of her. You do have a point though. Although he, you could just blow up 18. Although you could argue that that would be a bit of an out of character moment for him if he just outright blew her up. Like that. Yeah, well, first, well, I think first, eighteen will have to agree to that. Yeah, because yeah, you know if she if she shoots it at her, she'd probably just jump out of the way or something like that. And two, and then she just poke his third and, eye out. And probably so. But then she could have used a bomb within her. She was trying to use it. She didn't have a bomb. She does. She did have a bomb during that time. She had a bomb in her chest. She actually was threatening to do it. But Cell said, "I'd get to you before you even activate it." But that was also another reason because um, he, um, Tien needed that to stall him. If he kept, uh, if he would have switched targets, then Cell oh, yeah, would have so just knocked his ass out. If he would have switched targets, yes. But what if he would have just went to, for 18 right from the get-go? I just can't wait to get the Krillin. I just can't wait. We're going to get the Krillin. Hey, 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 hey. We're going to get to him. We're going to get. Wait. Wait. We're going to save the best stuff for, like, of course, Krillin and Vegeta. We're going to save. And Trunks, too. We're going to save them to the end. I don't assign that much blame. No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, like, no, 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 no. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. we got to get some of the people out of the way. Okay? So we can talk about Trunks. Now, the next person who's definitely the bang was Goku, for many reasons. Now, as you see, because Goku, he appeared there to instant transmission in order to get Tien and Piccolo back up to Kami's lookout. And then that move was surprising the hell out of Cell. He was like, wait, how is he doing that? Wait, there he goes again. What does he keep disappearing to? So, we want to know what he could have did. Goku could have taken Android 18 and brought her up there. He would have had, he can't sense her energy. He'd have no way of knowing where she is, no way to find her. So, Goku could have went down there, instead of just sitting there complaining, God damn it, hurry up, Vegeta, we need to get in there, what's taking you so long? Uh, he could have actually been doing something to be sure that Cell does not get 18. Because, as you see, they were desperate at that point, you know, take Android 18. Her power level is not detectable. Take her to Kami's lookout, and here's the thing. Like, Piccolo, and then like, they gave, like, Simsu beans. Like, Piccolo, of course, is healed up at that point, and he'd be able to keep 18 at bay. And another thing is, 18 would know better than to just make herself visible to, um, to, um, sell. But then, eighteen and Piccolo fought. They would just have a stalemate, like, like well, seventeen yeah. and Piccolo. Yeah, like, it would pretty much be like right? that. But the thing about it is, they're saying we're going to keep you up here so that they don't find you. So you think now that they're away, you would consider that might have happened. But then let's consider the next. Now, who's next on the list of faults? Begins with the K. Ball head, about four foot tall. 
Well, he's like, well, actually, his height has been inconsistent as fuck. They say he's five feet. The thing is, Dragon Ball Super has made him look even shorter. Why did you blame Trunks? Oh, why did I blame Trunks? I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna save Trunks to the very end. I'm gonna talk about him after Vegeta. We need a whole encyclopedia. We need a whole <laughs> encyclopedia. Like We're gonna have to. <laughs> Okay, of course Krillin is a, I'm not saying, I'm not making excuses for Krillin. He thought with his dick. Pretty much he's thinking with his penis. He is just, he's right there with the fucking controller. Here's the thing, there's a numerous ways he could have handled this if he had that big a hard on for 18. You know, he could, he did not have to step on the controller like he did. That was the stupid moment. That was the real stupid thing he did. It's like, you know, keep that controller because Bulma went through a lot of trouble making it, you know, trying to find out, like, the schematics of Android 17 so that he could learn how 17 and 18 function so that they could do that. But then he stupidly steps on the <laughs> controller. That was, here's the thing, not so much him saving 18 that was stupid. It was more so him stepping on the controller that way, hey, if shit hits the fan and you need to deactivate her, Shit's already hit the fan. Deactivate the. I don't know if like, that would be word, but it's like pretty much. <laughs> the robot. It's like he's one step away from perfection. He's slowly blowing up planets to get to her. Islands. He blown. He's blowing up islands. islands. He blew up them islands. Dude, just shut her down. Stop the thing about her. Well, the thing about her is, you know, she sees him anyway. What he could have. The thing is, what he could have did was he could have quietly led her off, like, to... Because here's the thing, during the time Vegeta was beating the shit wait minute, out of wait a minute. cell. Wait you see me, right? All right, no, no, go back to me now. Beep, beep. Shut <laughs> up, shut up, man. Just shut up. Shut up, What happened to Seventeen's bomb? Uh, Seventeen was already absorbed. Yeah, he's already gone. Are you saying with the moment he's gone, the bomb is gone too? Well, he can't do anything. He's Even just, like, he's, now he's source, now he's just pretty much biomaterial for cell right at that point while he's absorbed. So he can't do nothing while he's in there. Yeah, he can't really do anything. No, like, did he have like a, a, active, a deactivate button for 17 bomb too? No, not a deactivate button. This is just shuts them down from functioning. Yeah. Mm. But like, remember, like, of course, later on, Bulma removes Android 18, no, Android 16's bomb. Yep. And then, of course, yeah, Krillin wishes for 17 and 18's bombs to be removed because he wished for them to be human but of course krillin could not revert here's the thing shinron could not revert the the two androids back into being human you witnessed frieza you saw what he's capable of now you see a threat greater than him and the thing that crosses your mind is dude she's hot Hey, the bitch. Hey, the bitch is hot, and hey, he does end up marrying her. It, it so you know, it was a win. It works out totally well for him. But at the time, dude, you put the entire universe at jeopardy because of yeah. But it sounds like oh, Goku all the time, though. She gave you that an sounds energy. like Goku. Just she gave you a kiss that on is the what Goku does all the fucking time, I don't dude. Give, I don't. I don't. Uh, Granted, it don't Goku, seem like, like, like for example, remember when Kr remember when Krillin was about to do something really smart back in the Saiyan time? Freeze, uh, Vegeta is wounded, he's crawling to his pod, oh, yeah. getting ready to escape, and then Krillin picks up Yajirobe's sword, he's like, you ain't getting away, he's getting ready to stab the shit out of Vegeta, but then Goku says, no, stop, I want another shot at him, I realize that what I'm saying is very selfish, but, you know, you know it's like, what the fuck, you know the you know planet's know Krillin gonna Krillin get destroyed, <laughs> motherfucker, if I'm Krillin, I'd be like, yeah, Goku, this is one time I'm gonna give you one of these, stabby, 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 but that's the thing, but you know, it always, it always works out well in the end, right, you're great Ally, a fellow saying who you know has no he has no plateau he just gets stronger 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 until his hair turns blue it always works yeah, out it worked it, out saving the genius or stupid or does not make sense in the grand scheme of things it always works out well exactly you know it well. did work out because of course you know vegeta being saved that allowed trunks to be born Krillin would have killed off Vegeta right there. Trunks would have been erased from existence completely. Yeah. So that worked out well. And then, of course, Krillin actually does eventually marry Android 18 and they have a kid. So, you know, it worked out for him. So, him saving 18, it worked out. The expense of the universe. We really don't know how he's gonna, We really don't know what sells, like, his power level when he goes perfect. Really yeah, but it, it, you know, maybe at the universe, but put it this way no, Vegeta was already capable of easily destroying the Earth no, if he felt like no, it no, back no, during that time. No, 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 no,
no uh, no time machine. Yeah. Yeah, no trunks, no time machine. So that means a lot of things would so have been changed. That, that, that time frame would have been, like, it would have just really went. So there would never even really been a cell. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there would have been, been a there would have been probably something different. Like one bad. thing we know oh, yeah. is that Dr. Giro, of course, was taking Don't cells. Yeah. He was like taking like cells, taking notes of everything. <laughs> so we would have just seen had to have seen like how it would have all played out by that time. Anyway, but anyway, so back I to the cancer. No, not yet. No, 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 no. We gotta finish. We gotta finish. We gotta finish. We gotta establish why everyone's stupid. Vegeta. Vegeta's next, okay? Vegeta. Vegeta's a dumb no, saying no, no. I mean, so Vegeta is next. You're making excuses. I don't give a... Here's the thing. Vegeta no, I, is supposed to be the smart one in, in comparison to Goku, you know? The smartest ant is still an ant. Let's, let's get that out the way, right? I don't he's think ants are really... A, he's still a dumb ant. He's still a dumb monkey. You know what I'm saying? The smartest monkey is still Put a Put it this way. Like, in the Saiyan saga... Hey, in the, not the Saiyan saga. In the Frieza saga, you notice the more tactical Vegeta. He knew that, hey, these guys are out of my league. Let me avoid them. Let me get around it that way I can get the Dragon Balls that way they don't notice me. That's what he was doing there. But ever since he went Super Saiyan, oh, his ego has went through the roof. And it has to be constantly brought back down to Earth. It has to be <laughs> exactly. brought down to Earth. Android 18, semi-perfect self. Exactly. Perfect Android self. 18 is beat the oh, shit he's out of him. him. When she broke Saiyan. his arm, man, she kicked him so hard, his arm snapped. He thought being Super Saiyan, man, he was He's like, oh, I'm Super Earth. Saiyan. I'm better than everybody. And then, uh, and then not only does he get beat by somebody, a woman beats him. It's like, oh, shit. I just got the shit beat out of me by a woman. So, yeah, it's like, you know, that was the Biggest blow to his ego ever. Man, I really they, don't, they don't really like. I don't really. They did say that it was stated, it was stated and then even Piccolo was, was like, you know, he was, he feels he was the strongest, and then he gets defeated, and by a woman no less. So he, you know how much, because like it was getting to a point uh, where I like love the, subliminal sexism. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know, Dragon Ball Z's sexist anyway. Like yeah. you know, it's already sexist. Why do you think Android 18 is not a prominent fighter now? Because one, she's not a Saiyan. Two, she's got a vagina. What about Pan Pan? What about her? I mean, she's literally there to annoy the viewers. It's like, okay, she's, okay, she's singing, <laughs> but she has a son, but she has a one, vagina. One eight, one, eight one fourth. One fourth, yeah. Yeah, she's singing, but she has a vagina, so we can't make her a super saiyan. So, uh, but anyway, back to her Vegeta. Back, her back to Vegeta. So, uh, back. her kids will be like, what, 116? Who? The grandkids? Yeah. yeah. They'd be like 116. The only person who was like a half, the only, only female who's a half saint is Vegeta's daughter. Vegeta's daughter, what happened to her? Still do go to oh. Vegeta's so Pan should have eased, like, I thought GT, we should have had a like, super saint. You remember, remember the logic you told me? About, what? You remember when I used to always complain about like how how simple it is to go super saint? And you said it's because when they were created, their fathers There's were super saint. Well, wasn't Gohan super saiyan when he impregnated and I forget her name. Pan. Videl. 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 So that means she should have came out of the womb super saiyan one. You know what I mean? I, 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 do, I do have to admit that's one of the worst scenes in Dragon Ball was when uh, Golten uh, went Super Saiyan. Yeah, the seven year old. Yeah. That wasn't really the worst thing. It's like it was already kind well, of explained it, how he could do that. Well, to me that was like the worst transformation. Because it doesn't like really explain it, right? Just yeah. boom. Same thing, yeah. with, same thing with Trunks. Don't even well, here's the thing. They they, a, they, 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 they don't they elaborate explain, when they were able to do it. They but here's explain a, when Trunk, I mean Golten, right? He was, he was sparring with with Chi Chi, and then all of a sudden he just went out what and is did the it. Trigger to go Super Saiyan. Wasn't well, it extreme stress or a life or death situation? Yeah, but the thing about him is what he says was it just felt natural for him to do, and like I said, it, it made felt natural sense for him to do something he's never seen. <laughs> Yeah. I've never <laughs> seen. Listen, <laughs> listen, guys, guys. I can explain. I can explain. According to explain. According to Goku, it comes out of need, not a desire. Yeah, and apparently he desired it, and it came out. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. This is, he didn't even know he had it until he did it. You know, it's like the other ones. They didn't know they had. Like Goku, he didn't know he could do it until Krillin died, and then he just got really pissed off, and then it just happened. So what was the trigger for Goten? He like it. Here's the thing. Mommy like, slapped me. Listen. listen. <laughs> 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 like I said, like here's the thing. Like I said, this explained. Like with Gohan, why do you think Gohan already had like a comparable? Even at a four year old, he already had a power level that was already comparable to that of the other Z fighters, and could even shoot up past him. That was because you know, by the time he was conceived, Goku had already really reached 
a certain level of power, and then his son inherited that, okay? So that's what, and then even Goku himself lampshades this, like shortly before he's gonna send his son off to fight Perfect Cell. He, you guys have noticed how he's been able to keep up with us for all of this time, right? Like even since then, he says that. So pretty much he's letting you know like, hey, he has this power. So what you're telling me. Okay, let's go. The Super Saiyan is genetically passed down. Well, not the super set. We're like, remember Goku? We're like, when Gohan was conceived, Goku was long to, before be becoming a super saiyan. Achieve the transformation, and you will pass it down. The legendary yes. super saiyan. Yes. The legendary. Didn't you need like five super saiyans to go super saiyan god, right? You, you need five super saiyans to five pour their energies into yeah. a six saiyan. So there are apparently there are five super saiyans in the world at one time, right? Why the hell is there not a genetic line of Super Saiyans running around and didn't let Frieza just go poof to their planet <laughs> on the orders of Beerus, of mine? But he just went poof to your planet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what I always hate about these conundrums. If you are if you are capable <coughs> of some strength, right? Why were you all wiped out in the blink of an eye? You get what I'm saying? If you were capable of because like you said, I thought at one time Super Saiyan 4 was a plateau, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But then again, you find out that too, GT is not canon, right? So I assume Super Saiyan 3 was the plateau of the Saiyan line. Uh -huh. And then you get Super Saiyan God, and then you get Super Saiyan God, dot, dot, Super Saiyan. Or Super Saiyan Blue. Blue. Just, yes. Here's the thing, not even in Super, they don't call it Super Saiyan Blue. Like, the first time you hear the yeah. form, even with a name, go no plateau to their power. They will ascend till they reach God. They yeah, already they reached God. Mind you, they probably, probably did. You know what I'm saying? There is when he was a Super Saiyan God, he was already technically a God. Though he's still not... Even though, that's one thing I gotta say don't make sense. To how strong they get. If one of you guys can exist... First of all, Super Saiyan 1 doesn't take that much. It, and he just needs to blink and Frieza will die. Unless Frieza trains for four months, Mike. <laughs> oh my God. So pretty much, what they're saying is Frieza's rays are the most powerful race in the universe. I four more, four, months, four months, months, and I surpass every form of Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan there is. Ultra Super Saiyan. Whatever Super Saiyan form Pretty much, is. Super Saiyan. Ascended Saiyan. Ultra Saiyan. Full power Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan 2. Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 4. Super... Uh, hey, a, f f fuse go a, a fusion of Gogeta or Vegito. Uh, how about this? Or how about this? Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan Blue. I surpass all of that. Just give me 120 Boom. days. Just give me 120 days. Of imagine if he would have. Here's the thing. Imagine if he would have kept on training. What if he would have got a year of training? Then not only would he have mastered his golden freezer form, then he'd be probably I think way that's more why powerful. I'm not of interested in super at all. Why? Because of that. Because of the four months. I'm like, yo, it took Goku seven years in hell to reach Super Saiyan three. And exactly. what is the multiplier from Super Saiyan 3? From 1 to 3? What are the multiplier? Like, multiplier? Super Saiyan 3, like the power level, I think it's like three times the power level of what Super... Like, let me see, like, let me see the calculations. Hang on, I can actually bring up the calculations. Seven years in hell, and you mind you, go for it, no slouch. This man will crank up the gravity until it crushes your bones. And he just <laughs> trains and trains. So he's no slouch. And it took him seven years to reach that crescendo. I'm not using the word right. Am I using it right? I don't care. We're, we're talking animal, right? So it took him that long to reach that that that, that peak at that moment. Who surpasses it in four months? No, I refuse to accept this. Like, just boom, boom. But, it, but it has been written and it has been done. That doesn't mean it's bullshit. I don't like to cut some talk about it, but BS, bullshit. It just, it just doesn't compute. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. They just said that Frieza was already strong and just got stronger. Oh, he's just strong. He's just lazy. He doesn't want to train. He's and a prodigal son, right? A prodigy? Oh, so, he, oh so he's Shikamaru. He's yeah. Shikamaru. He's lazy. I was like, man, I... I don't even feel like lengthening up a pencil, but I can beat anybody in Shogi, man. What a drag. Just, uh, you really know, that's what kind of killed me for Super. Because of that, that, that oh, eight the It's eight times more powerful. He's eight. Here's the thing. The multiplier <laughs> of Super Saiyan, like, when it comes to how much stronger Super Saiyan 3 is than a Super Saiyan, is eight times. He's actually eight times more powerful, so that means, like, we got Super Saiyan Goku, whose power level is 
what is um 150 million that was his power level when he fought um freeze on planet namek whose power level was 120 million so then we multiply it by eight that gives him a power level of one billion two hundred million which is so, which is a little bit, actually a little bit higher than even what Kid Boo's power level is of 1,150,000,000. So, let's, let's do the math. In other words, all those scouters they were wearing is now training. useless. The girl just breaks over 9,000. So, by that <laughs> logic, right, Frieza surpassed Goku the same thing about like, what, 30 days of training he surpassed him? <laughs> Come on. It's hogwash. Use any time to turn that means cut utter. And total bullshit. And I have to go it back. It is to bullshit. I have to go back to something you said. And it, 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 you actually it resonated true. Something you said about Dragon Ball Z, how it went from being a karate tournament, it, like and, how Dragon Ball was skills, all about skill. It was about your skills in the power level. <laughs> now it's just like, yo, my power level is ten million. Your power level is ten million and one. Technically by law, I'm gonna lose. No matter what my skill is, I'm going to lose because you admit more energy than me. Come on, son. Here's the but thing. That's not true in the case. Remember what happened to Trunks versus Cell, where Trunks got in strong. He's just and slow. The he thing about Trunks so is his slow. power level was higher than Cell. But, but when the you're thing is, a punch those that goes big, like this, those big blows, kind of he's gonna dodge, right? If I'm throwing a punch like, like this, like, uh, if I'm throwing a punch uh, like this, right, Valerie? Uh, it's kind of easy to just kind of move your head, right? Oh shit! But when I'm throwing a punch, you know, let me see. Hello, can you dodge this? Oh, why can't I hit him? Oh, yeah. It wasn't uh, the fact that it wasn't uh, about technique. It was just the fact that Trunks is moving at total speed. And know. the thing is, so it has some skills involved, right? It does have a little skill involved, but like, of course, Dragon, um, of course, like power levels aren't the end all, be all, but. It's a huge influence and how, and how, because, you how, know, that means that human characters too. have not been able to keep up. Because here's the thing. The reason why the Saiyans keep progressively just getting ridiculously strong is two reasons. One, of course, there are Super Saiyan transformations, which just multiply it to ridiculous levels. Two, Zenkai. Whenever they're beaten near to death what and then they come back stronger. stronger. Like, let me give you a very good example of that. At the beginning of the Frieza saga, go like Vegeta was weaker than that of Pink Vegeta's <laughs> elites. He was weaker than that of Vegeta's elites, like Zarbon and stuff. But by the end of the arc, That's he is Zarbon strong. He was strong enough to take on probably at least third form Frieza. It would of course be fourth form Frieza that would just completely no, that overwhelm was, that was At one point, that was Vegeta's strategy. Just constantly have Krillin blast me. Exactly, <laughs> so that's what he did. <laughs> and then, what's, the little, what's the little Namekian's name? Dende? Dende. 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 Nah, 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 Dende. And at one point, they didn't even get Dende's approval the first time. And when he blasted him, Dende, like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> And he, he then they only did it because Gohan said, "Come on, we need him, so do it." Yeah. Didn't he say, "Like you're, what, you're responsible for the death of so many yes. people, like, like my, of my people"? I'm not gonna resurrect your little. <laughs> you know, but you do get it, right? Stumped over dying, cursing him out. Yeah, I'm really gonna help you now. Yeah. <laughs> Only reason why I would help you out is because my plan is in danger. <laughs> yeah, but you get it, right? You know, you see how ridiculously strong that. Freeze that um that um Vegeta got in one story arc just con constantly jumping in power levels. Where first he's not strong enough to take on Zarbon. After he gets the shit beaten out of him by him, it's like, like okay. Zarbon gave me what he gave him. <coughs> I don't know. That kind of traumatized me. And then he comes back, and then he's able to overpower Zarbon. And then of course the Ginyu Force come by, like you know. And then like Raccoon is just beating everybody's ass. Vegeta tried to be quick about it. Get quickly get rid of Raccoon. All he did was blast off his um his armor, and, his hair, and then his hair was and singed. Teeth, his teeth. And then remember when his teeth were, he was about to use the eraser gun, but then Krillin like closed his made it, like hit him on top of the head, made him close his mouth oh, on himself, and teeth. he blew his teeth out of his mouth. Mm. But even though that was kind of stupid of Krillin, here's the thing: while he was distracted, Krillin could have just the unleashed a destructo disc. disc. Here's the thing, I think Akira. Akira Toriyama himself has stated the Destructo Disc cuts through anything. Except Freeze's back. I mean, except uh, Cell. So that does not count. Except that was actually a filler moment. That was a filler moment. That was a filler moment. When he did the Destructo Disc in the head. When he did the Destructo Disc in the neck, that's not President Amanga. That's a filler moment. Ew. 
So that does not count. We are, here's the thing, filler moments, because here's the thing, the way Toei Animation does things and the way Akira Toriyama does things are completely different. So that was a filler moment. So here's the thing. The Destructo disc would be would have cut through if it was, if it was based on Toriyama. It would have cut through Cell's neck, but it wouldn't have killed him, of course, because Cell regenerates. Because here's the thing. So granted, the Destructo disc would not be as powerful of a move later on because of the ridiculous regeneration skills that keep people people like Cell and Majin Buu got. It's like what the fuck? I have to agree. But really, at one point, it's like you're fighting bubblegum. <laughs> like when you're fighting bull, it's like fighting bubblegum. You're pretty much like, fighting bubblegum. I feel like you're not doing any damage to them. Even when you the only person that made Boo say ow was who? Gohan and Vegito. They're the only people that made him say ow. Where they hit him hard enough where he felt it. Oh, well, you know? like tr like Goten did too. Like remember when their heads clunked against each other? <laughs> that was the funniest shit ever. But I really when, there's only there would have been very few people that make boo. That, that's when I got the analogy. It's like Punching a piece of chewed bubble gum. <laughs> not really doing anything to it, you know? Yeah, but one thing I would say is that Krillin could have been a good example of, hey, how his power levels really doesn't matter because he has this move. If only Krillin would have be would use his moves smart. Like, here's the thing. You have this attack that can cut through anything, and you have another attack that's very easy to use and doesn't oh, require flare. a lot of key consumption. Solar flare. Solar flare? Like, here's the thing. Like, remember in, um... Back in the Frieza saga, where there was Krillin there, he like did a destructive disc, cut off Frieza's tail, and then what he does is he has a destructive disc thrown at Frieza, and then it breaks off into a bunch of destructive discs all coming at Frieza. So Frieza has to dodge all of them, or else he's gonna get cut the fuck up. He had it's like Krillin, you know you could actually technically kill Frieza, right? But no, we gotta save it for Goku because Goku's the he, he's the the saying here. He's the main character here. If you ain't Goku, you ain't shit. You know, every you know time Krillin, you ain't even saying. You know, so you definitely time we ain't have shit. One of these really in-depth conversations. Yeah. My opinion of Dragon Ball continually lows. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so BS involved in it and like. And like it's the inconsistency is maddening. Like it's ridiculously maddening. Don't get me but my started. My opinion of it just continually gets lower. Like you remember when I was growing up, greatest anime of all time. Now uh, I won't even wipe my ass with the manga. <laughs> you know I won't even wipe my ass with the manga. Like to me, Death Note will always be number one. Oh, Death. Well, Death Note, Death Note until it got to the end. The end sucks. There was you, you, you eventually run out of juice. You know what I mean? But one thing, one thing, Death Note had for it. Consistency. We have a set of rules. Remember the Death Note? The a rules. Set of rules. You gotta follow you these rules. You have to follow the rules. What's the name? Guy who makes Dragon Ball? I can never pronounce his name. Akira you Toriyama. You say it like like it's an American name. He have a set of rules, and every every chapter we will break them. We will break them, and we leave the fan base scratching their collective heads like, huh? <laughs> like, huh? Here's the thing. I'm gonna make you scratch your head real good. Like, Remember the, you know the Zenkai I'm talking about, where you come back strong. Yeah. It does not work on self-inflicted injury. Yeah. So I'm gonna have. I'm gonna ask you a question that's gonna blow your mind. How the fuck did Cell get stronger after blowing himself up? Again, the rule breaking, you bring up a colossal point. He blew himself up and a little bitty piece of his brain matter regenerated everything. Oh, and another another BS plot twist. I re I reformed myself perfect because my cells remembered the perfect form. Where are you pulling this out of? His ass. I don't know arse. Go ahead, go ahead. Pulling this out of, yo. Wasn't he blown up in a, another dimension? He was blown up in... He was um, blown up on um, King Kai's planet, because remember, Goku takes him to Otherworld on King Kai's planet, because, you know, Goku can't just take him to some uninhabited planet. It has to be somewhere where he can yeah. sense energy. Right. So he was like, sorry, King Kai, this is the only place I can think so, to take him. So, but instead of all that talking, he could have got King Kai, Gregory, and Bubbles all out of there, <laughs> teleported them out, and let Cell blow up. No, but, but of course, but, standard but, apology. But, but, here's, but here's another thing. Why why did our cell form in, in space if he got blown up in another dimension? No, actually, no. He was still in other world. He was still in other world. But here's the thing. Somehow, after he blows up and he was in close proximity of Goku, he his cells somehow pick up 
the technique of instant transmission. So he's able to tell him to support himself Here right back. Here we go again. It gets lower oh, and lower. Oh, no. It just keeps Wait, getting so lower and lower. He just the ability with Von Gundy. He just around it. Just being around it. Just being around it. <laughs> then what's the point of absorbing anybody anyway? He could have been rolls. close to the could have been close to the You know, that's rolls. bullshit, you know. That is just the biggest bunch of bullshit right there. Because, you know, it's not like, you know, it's like, okay, sometimes there have been moments where a character sees a technique used and then they use it. Because, first of all, how do you think Goku learned the Kamehameha? Back in Dragon Ball, he saw Master Roshi use the Kamehameha to destroy Fire Mountain, and then Goku mimicked the technique and used it to destroy a car. So it was on a much smaller scale, but he understood how to use it. It just was a matter of perfecting the technique. But then, like, and then of course, there's kind of a echo to that. Like, remember when he did the Kamehameha, when he was like Super Saiyan 3 showing the Kamehameha on Majin Buu? how Boo saw and, how it was yeah. done, and then he just pretty much mimicked the technique. So that's pretty much like a callback to that. So, he, so at nice. least, whoa, so <laughs> at least Toriyama remembered, hey, something like this did happen. So let's just pretty much remind people of that again. So hey, that was one area where it was consistent. But I do not buy how the fuck, no, is it? How, one, how the fuck does Cell learn it? Two, why won't Goku teach anyone else the technique? Three, why won't anyone ask Goku to teach him that technique? Because everybody could be zipping around. It's like, you guys need to get somewhere in a hurry. Zip, the, 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 teleport there. It would be so much quicker. Y'all could z zip around and, like, if it's a matter of time, you could get the way you need and it not be a problem. It's like, you uh, 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 no. no. more than pin cushions. No, they were, no, 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 this is what they are. They were just furniture in the background. That's yeah. all they were. Every now and then to make a comment and be slightly useful. Unlike Krillin, who was, you know, 100% useless. <laughs> Krillin well, had yeah. no reason to be. Well, let's assign percentage. No, 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 no. We're not. We wait, haven't talked. We haven't. Wait, wait, we haven't even done trunks. We haven't done that yet. We haven't done that Can yet. We just established. We were in ninety nine point nine 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 nine. Everybody no, else no, went through those no. Ones. But of course, like we already know how this was a lot of Vegeta's fault too. A lot of Vegeta's fault. He had him right there, but he just let him go. He just let him right the fuck go when he could have just gotten rid of him right then and there and not called him up on his bull and not like fall for his bullshit. It's like, come on. Trump kind of did the same thing. It's just too. the thing is, like I he said, when he went, when he went Super no, Saiyan, no stop. When Goku went, when um Vegeta went Super Saiyan, his <laughs> ego reached an all time high, and he was just too egotistical for his own good. Now we're gonna talk about Trunks. Why was Trunks holding back all of that time? Because he didn't want to disappoint his father. He didn't want his father to be like, oh my god, even my son has surpassed me. What the hell is going on? It's like, motherfucker, who gives a fuck if your father sees you surpassed him? It's like, dude, the, this motherfucker's about to reach his perfect form. He's gonna kill every last one of you motherfuckers. And at this moment, at this particular moment in time, there are no Dragon Balls, okay? Piccolo and Kami did their merge. Dragon Balls are gone. We have not gotten Dende here because the idea of it hasn't even come up. So, motherfucker, get rid of this guy. Who cares a fuck if your dad sees you? Everything and even Krillin! Everything you said minus is that I applied to Krillin. That's why I hey, No, even, even, fire. no, here's the thing. Even Krillin was said, because here's the thing. When, remember when Goat, when Cell kicked, reached his perfect form, and then he kicked the shit out of Krillin? Oh, Krillin that knew. Best. That was the greatest thing he did in his perfect form. Yo, first of all, he should, it, first of all, if he's really that strong, right? Krillin's just a measly little ant. Like, you, what was Krillin almost line? died. You remember what the famous line Eisen said when he revealed his true form? It's hard to hold your pressure. It's hard to hold your steps when you step on ants. You know what I mean? Yeah, if he's really that strong and Krillin's that much of an ant, that little kick should have blew his head to Z City. Yeah, but Krillin almost died. He oh, only survived because of the sensu beam. No, and then what said and then what Krillin said, you know, he says, you know, I don't have the power of you, but I can sense power but I can sense energy like pretty much be the best he pretty much has one of the best oh, insert se energy like, sensing. So he knew the amount of energy that Cell was holding back in that kick. So he knew the full scale of Cell's power, and then he was even telling Trunks, Hey, I know you're holding back a lot 
lot of power too. And it was saying, why don't you get him? And then Trunks is like, no, I can't do it. When, when he when he when he was telling Trunks like, what are you waiting for? I'd be like, shut your bald head up because we are in this situation because of you. And yeah, but we in your dad. Yeah, but we in because of your dumbass dad too. God damn it! Why aren't you? Here's the thing: you're putting too much pressure on Krillin. It's like it's not dad too. Because pressure. it's why? Because he thought it was dick. Because he's a human. He better. He knows his body. Like if I these, said, if you dumb are fail, right? making these dumb saying monkeys fail. Us as a planet, we are what? <laughs> so you, you should think with the with, with the mentality of your your species because we are dude you are being these people, are are, these people way we too are me. critical on Krillin and, and you are it. making too many excuses for Vegeta man we are too many ants. stop between stop, these people stop. fighting we are God meager damn. ants right if we have any chance to have any sort of advantage please take it. Fuck their feelings. Fuck their saying feelings. <laughs> Dude, oh, you took away my chance for a green opponent. Fuck that. My planet was in danger. So screw you. Go back to Planet Vegeta. Oh wait, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> can, we, can we? Can we? Can we have a conversation? Why it doesn't exist? Because well, first of all, they just underestimate Vegeta. I mean, Frieza. <laughs> Frieza underestimated them. But that's a different story. But let's just say you ain't got a home. I do. So shut up. You ain't got a planet, but I do. So shut up. I'm gonna protect okay. my planet. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I'm gonna say is like, okay, now here's the thing. Trunks, he's holding out his power for so long, and then it even gets to the point where you know he starts sparring with, where he starts fighting. I love how you referred to it as sparring. I was like, I was like, spar I was like wait a minute, sparring. sparring. I'm like, no, no, you, you got it right because that's all they were. They were sparring. They, they were, were just saving it for. They were just a display before the grand event. Okay, <laughs> they were just fighting. They were like where Trunks was fighting Cell. He was fighting Cell, and then like Vegeta starts fighting amongst Trunks, saying, "Let him just get 18." And then you know, there's even a moment where like Trunks and 18 is oh, like face to face with one another. It's like you know, you could do one of two things: one, grab her and throw her atop the fucking planet so Cell will yeah, never yeah. find her, or two. If you're a dick, like your father, you'll just blow her up. Yeah, I would've killed him. But he's not a dick, but the thing is, Trunks is not a dick. He wouldn't blow her up, but that's why I say just even take he her. Knows, and pretty crazy? much how he has compassion for her, even though she, he knows what she is capable of. He knows what In she's capable timeline, of. His timeline, he knows what she is capable of. He you knows what she's capable of. The moment I surpassed her. I'm gunning for that. I'm gunning for her, and I'm really gunning for her little, the reason, little brother. I didn't want to use that for I'm gunning for her little brother. Just say that for brother's her, man. Fuck. Down. Brother's going the down funny first. Thing is they, <laughs> you know they were the brother's reason going why, down first. They were the reason why the uh, Trunk's future the way it was. I'm saying, so, like, the, like, why is he being so soft on her? You know, she, well, the reason, the, so, the reason he he's being so the reason he's being soft on her. The re well, one he noticed like remember when they all when they all get their asses kicked like he noticed like they did they could have killed them like injury seventeen and eighteen they could have easily killed all of them mm -hmm. but they don't and they just go off. They're like, what's going on? She's not nearly. She's not the same as she was. She doesn't seem evil. And even Kami himself said, these guys aren't really the big threat here. I sense a much greater evil. It, it's been stated. She really, you know, yes. She, one thing is she's stronger than the Android 18 that Trunks knows in his timeline. However, she really isn't a killer and no. was just simply screwing I around. Think I can tell you the so why. Didn't even have a I goal, I really. I yeah, they were just screwing around. Go, Go ahead. I think I can tell you why Krillin spared 18. Because <laughs> of that, and also... Um, he wants some ass. <laughs> and also, I can remember, she spared him when they first met up. Because remember, that's how. That's why she got... That's why he was attracted to her, because she kissed him. You know, she's very, you know, because, you know, he was scared. They didn't, you know, they, yeah. if it was like the Android 17 and 18, because first of all, in Trunks' ultimate timeline, they murdered the fuck out of Krillin. Right. They just straight up murdered the fuck out of him. But here, they let him, they spare him. You know, she he tries to talk them down into not going after Goku. But here's the thing. We don't necessarily know that they were going to go kill Goku. We just know that these was, guys. I think 16 was. 16 had a one track line. Where's Goku? Well, 16, yes. Where's Goku? 16, yes. And he 17 and 18, no. 
17 and 18, they just probably wanted to see, hey, let's see how strong this guy is. Wait a minute, isn't 16 100% mechanical, right? 100% mechanical and is actually stronger than both 17 no, and 18. No, but that doesn't make sense. If he's 100 mecha mechanical, right? The, he, can he think? He can think somewhere, right? He, th he has artificial intelligence. He's programmed to go kill Goku, right? Yeah. But how is it he was able to, like, completely ignore that command? The moment, you know, so because there were times he could have gone after Goku. Uh, I don't know. How did the hey put it this way? How did the um how did Skynet become self-aware, see us as threats, and try to murder us? Um, because computers. Ah, I like how we went to Terminator. <laughs> exactly. I went Terminator there. Didn't we the Terminator. Had an influence on sixteen, anyways. Like later on. Like, no, later on he did. Yeah, yeah but like, but during his initial like. You no. Know, he was like, yo, let's go to Goku. Let's find the quickest route to go to Goku. But then of course, you know, things went sidetracked. Then you know, Krillin went one hundred stupid. I will never, ever resolve 99.9% .9 of the guilt to the dumb little human boy. Yeah, but put it this With way. Trunks, Trunks, of course, could have done something too, because he was a big part right. of the you idiocy. You convince me. You convince me. He's a big part of the idiots. Okay. Okay. Now, who are the people who I said were idiots here? Everybody who's an idiot in this moment. We got Pick. We're going to have to give percentages for everyone. We got Piccolo. We have TN. We have Android 17. We have Android 18. We have Krillin. We have Vegeta. We have Goku. And we have Trunks. We have eight people who, how are we going to distribute the percentages? Oh, that's up to you. Cause like you know, just just no, we gotta make it a group thing. It's like we all gotta. Oh, no one's gonna agree with me though, cause you know, my you're just ninety nine point nine 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 whatever the Krillin. No. Krillin gets most of it. I would say is that Krillin's gonna get a huge bit of that pot. Vegeta oh, probably, a, you know what I'd say? Vegeta would get a bigger one because Vegeta could have just had him right then and there. And then Trunks would definitely get a huge piece because he's holding back because of daddy issues. Man, fuck your daddy issues. The planet is in jeopardy, you dick. Same thing with Krillin. The planet is at stake. Yeah, but the thing is, Krillin, while Vegeta was beating the shit out of semi-perfect cell but didn't quite finish him off yet, Krillin could have taken 18, led her somewhere, and 18 also was a big idiot. She's just standing there like a dumb shit, I, like I, a I dumb blonde. She, like, how many times did people tell her to run away? She is just standing there. Everybody's like, telling her like, to go. Android 16 saying, and it's like she keeps trying to save 16. 16 saying, I can't even fly anymore. Just go run. She doesn't want to leave well, him behind. Head <laughs> It's like, you know, 60's telling her to run, TN's telling her to run, Krillin's telling her to run, Trunks is telling her to run. She's just standing there like a dummy, and then there's one point where she tries to fight Cell. Like, she gets solar flare, she can't see, she's just wildly swinging, and then she gets absorbed. So she gets a huge bit she's of She's a idiot. product of her own demise. Exactly. So that's a big idiot moment, so she gets a lot of it. Now, like I said, the, least, the one that would get the least amount would be... TN because you could kind of view that as a huge out of character moment for him because it would really be a huge out of character moment if he would have just went straight for it just destroying it. But then of course Piccolo, he would be a lower one. Now Piccolo technically did start all of this by fighting 17. Piccolo's power level was rising so from somewhere halfway across the earth could hit, could sense it and then came straight to where they are. So you could argue that he would get a lot, although he would have no idea how powerful Cell had gotten. Because remember, when he had first fused with Kami and became even stronger than a Super Saiyan, he was strong enough to kill Cell like right then and there. But then Cell did that trick, that, you know, that solar flare, and then hightailed it out of there. Because you know he knew he couldn't take him on. You know what they hear right now, though. Oh, no, 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 please not, Renato. Because yeah. Renato would just talk, talk, talk. Before you know it, we wouldn't want to have this conversation anymore. But seriously, we, we, we come on. How much blame would you say Vegeta would get? Like, of the percentage. And do, let's be more realistic. Don't make Krillin 99%, okay? Or 99999. Let's give Krillin a fair percentage. And don't say 98% either. Okay. Or 97. Or 90. Do, no, we're in the 90s. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. Because you're putting too much on one person when it was because of a. It's, it's a massive I, I, avalanche I, 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 of. Oh, shit. I, I, a massive I, I, avalanche of dumbassery on a bunch of characters. At one point. They exactly. All, they all had dumbassery. So, you, you are dumbass. I will play by your rules. You are dumbass. I will give. 
Krillin. Damn, this is a good conversation. <laughs> I will give Krillin 75%. Is that, is that okay with you? No! Why? Damn it, he's a moron! Okay, if you give Krillin 75%, how much do you give Vegeta? Vegeta, I give 15. <laughs> oh, that's low. How much do you get Trunks then? One. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. suck, man. Like three of the rocks. Yeah. I do not suck. This is my opinion. Like I'm thinking as a human. I'm thinking as a human. If we have yeah, an but alien, you're making ex but you you you're thinking as a human, and you're making excuses for the Saiyans. Goku could gotten Goku zipping around. Cell doesn't know what's going on. He could have teleported 18 out of there, taken her, the disappeared, bring here. It's like okay, you're it's coming. Still what? But you act like 18 is actually going to agree to that. Yeah, she, she has some... Here's the thing, trouble. she doesn't really have a say in the matter, because he could just instant transmission to where she is, tap her on the shoulder, and get right back, and then she won't know what happened. She'll be like, where the hell that am I? we both agree on. She will he be like... should have hightailed her out of there. Instead of like just sitting there like a lump on a log. Out. Instead of just sitting there like a lump on a log, he'd be like, oh, time to intervene. Go find out where she is. Try to do it quietly, cause you know who, who Goku. Goku. No, go to the go to the battle no, sign. No, but you gotta remember, Goku was not a hundred percent at the time. No, <laughs> Goku was a hundred percent. He was healed. He the the, the heart virus was yeah. healed up. He was ready to get ready to fight again. That's why he was going into the yeah, he was actually time going chamber. Train, so he was ready. He so so he and Trunk, he and Gohan were waiting their turn because Vegeta and Trunks were spending their day in the hyperbolic time chamber. So what we were doing was they were waiting. So all of this was going on. Like remember, set, go. Goku teleported to where Semi Perfect Cell was. He went there to recover Tien and to recover Piccolo to get them back up. And then he had no idea where the hell they went and said, Ah, oh, screw it. Let me just go after 18. Because oh she was God. just flying away. We need to have this conversation about Boo. Who's at fault for Boo's release? <laughs> we need to have this. Who's at fault for Boo's release? Like, for Boo. <laughs> If I Chris Lee, Vegeta, and we, Goku. Before we jump into this one, if I if I were to assign percentages, I'd do it like this. I would give 50 Krillin. That's it? 50. That's I'll give it. the other, um, I'll give, the, I'll give, um, I'll give between 35 and 40 to Vegeta. Because ultimately, I feel like Tien, Trunks, and um, Piccolo, they, Goku, what about Goku? Yeah. And 17. Because 17 was kind of a product of his own demise. Se yeah, 17 was just... Um, I'm not really going to count 17 and Goku because I feel like... I don't think Goku was really at 100% at the time. He was at 100%. And it's simple. Just simply, I appear. I go. It's like this. Man, I miss these conversations. But like I, that. I miss these conversations. Like, simple, it's, it's like, it could be this simple. Like, I appear, I, mean, I tap you, and we're, and we're at Kami's Little Cloud. She'd be like, what, wait, what the hell just happened? It's like, you're, you're where Cell will never find you, and uh, he'll never find her. He can't sense her energy. I think, but still, I ultimately think the ones who had the best two shots of stopping Cell before you even got the perfect Cell was... Um, Colin yeah, exactly. and, and Vegeta. That we do. Again. So that's why I give those percentages to uh, both those. Here's three. the thing. The reason, like I said, I don't give Krillin the blame because he wanted to save 18. The blame I give him was he was a dumbass for stomping on the remote where if shit would have truly just hit the fan and would have splattered all over the place, he could have still been able to shut her down. The shit already hit the fan. By that point, it was already hitting the fan. Yeah, I do agree there. I don't think he should have destroyed the remote. Yeah. If he would have kept the remote at least yeah. around that way, hey, Cell, because here's the thing, he, Cell hadn't noticed them yet. But once he did notice it was coming right after him, it's like, okay, now I do at least have this remote. This remote is still an option. I use it. <laughs> Duh. Would that be before or after 18 got uh, absorbed? No, when like. Oh before. my god, people. Before. What's your percentage? Hmm? Uh, I'm gonna give rock. very little to Piccolo. I mean, of course, very little. Like I said, granted, he wouldn't know. Three the rock. Three the rock. Even one, though you can argue, he that. started it all. Just because, I mean, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, <laughs> but he didn't know how Piccolo give, uh, started it because he, he, gave, gave, he, he, he gave him a beacon. beacon. He sensed Piccolo's high energy and said he must be he fighting those. He brings up a point. Piccolo did kind of start the. He started the chain reaction of pure dumb. But the pure dumb chain reaction. But I don't understand Piccolo. how Piccolo was dumb for being the beacon because 
Did they knew that a cell could pick up energy just like that? Yeah, well, yeah, a cell can sense energy. He has all the cells. Thing, <laughs> but the thing about him... You have to assume anything you can do, he can do. Yeah. But one thing you gotta remember. Yeah, after he he got 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 some of the people. Uh, was that before after he absorbed some like of the Mark fighters? Said, you no, he didn't absorb any of the fighters. He just has the fighter cells incorporated in him. But what I was about to say is, granted, he does not know that cell just went through a huge power boost after absorbing the inhabitants of Nikki Town. That's the thing that I would say, you know, granted, he doesn't know that. And he's just simply trying to stall. But he brought Cell to them, and he started it all. But the reason I don't give him that high is, granted, he wouldn't have known how strong Cell would have, Cell would have gotten. And then, of course, 17, I could give a lot to him because, you know, he was part of the dumbass thing. It's like, you know, run, you dumb. It's like, you know, run. Don't just stand there. Even Android 60 telling you, I did not beat Cell. Just run. <laughs> It's just, like I said, so many people were at fault here. And then I say, the one that was probably the least at fault with the TN, because I did suggest a thing for TN to do, but like I said, TN is just simply, that would just been a huge out of character moment for TN to just outright murder. TN was just a cannon. He was didn't just everybody a agree to hide their energy <laughs> away from Cell so he wouldn't, like, know Yeah, but them? here's the thing. If Piccolo is fighting Android 17, he's got to show his power. And of course, Android 17 and 18, their power levels aren't detectable with them being androids. But Se but Piccolo's power levels is easily detectable. Ultimate, ultimately, you got to remember, too. Which it can't be Piccolo's fault at all. Not all of them are on the same page. Each one wanted to Yeah, you could them. actually argue that they're not on the same page. They're not. Like Vegeta, like like Vegeta was. Silver Lion shirt, blank. Oh my God! <laughs> you just hate like, you just hate him because he's short, right? No, I have nothing wrong with short people. I just have a problem with stupid people. Uh, Vegeta, you, you should hate the shit out of Vegeta. I'm not fond of him. I'm not fond of Goku either because he's dumb at times too. Vegeta, uh, Goku's dumb twenty four seven. Childlike stupid, like childlike stupid, you know. Especially listening to him <laughs> in the sub, he especially sounds more stupid hearing him in Japanese. Oh yeah, oh yeah, naga naya kana. Why you think? Shut the fuck. Why are you voiced by a woman anyway? Hey, we have a threat bigger than Cell. Should I deal with it or leave it in the hands of two? Two ten year olds, or how old were they? Uh, they seven. were go ten seven trunks eight. They didn't even in their hands. I, I, but I, anyway, I, I think. Um, but anyway, I, I, like I said, like where I would put it, I put like I said, I would give Vegeta a little more than Kr like the Krillin. I could I, give him about. I, I could tell you though, you know who is really a hundred should be probably hundred percent blame, Goku, and you know why? Because by the time they went to go fight the perfect cell. Um, Goku knocked them down just enough so anyone else could have probably taken them, no problem. And what does he do? Give him a sense of being. Yeah, but we're talking about... He gave Cell a sense of being? Yeah, to be yeah, honest, but that here's the thing. That's not what this is no. about. This is about who is at fault, who is the most at fault for Cell reaching his perfect form. Not anything Me and him have been arguing okay. about this. I think this. ultimately the most direct one is... It's like, come on. Most, the, gotta, hey, let's clash about it. The, uh, the, me and him have been arguing about uh, this. The, the, most, sure. the most direct ones, you know, is Vegeta and Krillin. No, there's no other way to say it. Yeah. The you, most direct... Even they're I the most direct ones, but Trunks is too... Because the only reason he held back was for daddy issues. But you gotta also remember daddy fucking issues. You gotta also remember that Trunks didn't try to stop um, Cell, but Vegeta stopped him. <laughs> Vegeta slowed him down. Yeah, but he could have overpowered Vegeta. Like, you know what? Fuck you, Dad. And then went straight for Cell. And just here's the thing: he could have did just simply channeled his energy into one good attack and blow the holy shit out of but Cell I at think that we, point. We we, we agree. A large portion, even though my percentage is different than theirs. Yeah, you're ninety nine point nine 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 nine. Can go to two people. Vegeta. So you say Krillin gets the most, and you say Krillin gets the most. Who do you say gets the most? I say Vegeta gets the most, most definitely. He gets the most. I would distribute among the three. Who do you think gets the most? Who do you think it was the biggest? Idiot out of the eight people. Want me, want me to remind you of the eight people again? I, I have to say, Vegeta. Yeah, this is also kind of hard to do because the last time I saw this episode was when I was in. The only like reason, grade. the reason we all put Krill in second place is like even if Krill is spared the, even if Krill is spared the machine. Yeah, I'll, I'll you. What are they for? Uh, Here's the thing. I'm usually the like the oldest or the second oldest of the guys I hang around with Pokemon. Mm. But like, there's another guy who's like 34. He's older than us, you know. Well, 35 now. But yeah, we've 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 come to the conclusion 
who would you say is number one? Like, who deserves a lion's share? Number like, one, most definitely. I would have said Vegeta. The reason why I put Krillin in second place is like, even if he spared the machine, what are the chances that bomb would have actually worked? What? No we're, we're not talking switch. about the bomb. We're talking about the switch to turn 18 off. It's not to blow her it's up either, shut her it's down. Either, it's, either it's just to turn her it's, off. It's, that it's way a, he could easily it's, just it's, blow her up it's afterwards. It's two scenarios. Whether Krillin shuts, shuts her off or or Vegeta destroys him as imperfect self. Yeah. So which one would you say is the most uh, direct way of... Um, who's most direct that way? I would have put more towards Vegeta. Oh, so you two get along? We two get along. Okay, so, okay, so, so even like though we're not 100% in agreement, Let's agree, we let's are agree. pretty much the half consensus say Krillin, and the other half is Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. So we can it like like so I said, I'm going to admit that Krillin there, was man. a dumbass. <laughs> he was a dumbass. All but dumbass. Vegeta is a big dumb ooh ooh. He's a big dumb ooh ooh gorilla, and you're making excuses. I don't give a fuck. He was stupid. <laughs> Just big ooh ooh. It's like oh my god, I gotta establish you the dominance. Think, I gotta. <laughs> and, the, and, and, and I can't say this with certainty. But if you put Goku where Vegeta is, would he fall for the same bait? Wouldn't you if want you to put my, my perfect form? No. Like, would you think he would fall for the bait? I don't, Goku's Go fallen for the bait a couple of times. <laughs> you let, you let I think Goku would have. Goku think about the bigger picture about like if. All right, he has a perfect During form. this, I'm intrigued to see it. But what? But what if I can't beat him? What happens then? Do you think he would think like that? Okay. I put all scenes in one bucket. They're okay, actually, you know, They're you got stupid. a good point. You, you got a good point. I'm going to give you an example of how you got a good the point, the point there. point there. bigger picture. They just think about, hey, I get a chance to test my ability. Hey. What happens if you fail, you dumb monkey? <laughs> hey, Andrew. Oh, hey, I'm going to give you an example of, of, of how you could be right, right about this. Remember during the Frieza saga, you know, Goku goes Super Saiyan. So <laughs> wipe them out. Problem solved. Goku goes Super Saiyan, you know, Vegeta, I, I mean not Vegeta. Vegeta, I mean like Frieza's desperate just throwing everything he's got at Goku and then even just starts to throw one at the planet, that way he could blow it up, although he kind of chickened out, that's why it didn't blow up, like he kind of chickened out on a blast to be honest, why he didn't blow it up as soon. I'm, I'm going to need you to like, because I know you know, go, you know Dragon Ball Z like the back of your hand, I'm going to need you yeah, to like, I know Dragon Ball Z like I need the back you of my to hand. elaborate on something for me, we're going to talk about this when this conversation is over, I need you to elaborate on something like that. I'm talking really fast right now. Okay. Coming, okay? But yeah. right now, <laughs> like remember when, <laughs> but remember when Frieza yeah. started powering up and bulky. <laughs> remember when Frieza started powering up and started getting bulky as hell. And then King Kai was saying, "Come on, Goku, this is your chance. Get him." And then Goku said, "You know, this is the one chance that I get. This is probably the one chance I get to finish him off for good." However, this is also the one chance I get to see what he is truly made of. Now, lucky for Goku, he was strong enough to still beat the shit out of, out of Not Frieza. Thinking Luckily. The bigger picture. Luckily. But when it comes to this situation, now, the thing about it is, I don't know. He's up against this guy. Now, Goku sees how much leagues this guy is stronger than Frieza and stronger than he was as a Super Saiyan, would he have been able to be talked into allowing him? I don't think, I don't think it would have, I don't think it would have gotten to that point. To it happened honest. with Super Saiyan and with Frieza. I think it happens with every villain they always fight. They wait for the villain to super power up and then all of a sudden... Hey, here's the thing. If, they if, the if their ultimate power is mentioned, you gotta see it. That's the rule of thumb of Dragon Ball. Yeah. Of and it's like, hey, I got this form. I gotta get to this form. It's like, no, we're gonna get beat you before you get to that form. Nope. This form was mentioned, so it's gonna happen. It has been established that for it shall happen. But like I said, I don't, I don't know. Here's the thing. It's up for debate. I don't know if Goku, but I can't really say if he would or wouldn't. It just depends on if. What would have overrided more, Goku's concern or Goku's like? But I will agree. Goku, Goku does have a greater concern for planet Earth. He than does. Probably Vegeta does. Yeah, Vegeta just Vegeta. wants to fight. Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta this is not always. his home. Remember, this is not Vegeta's home. Yeah, because during this, resident here. So whether, but then again, where would he go after this? Yeah, but the thing about you Vegeta know, is during you know, this time. Yeah, but during this. <laughs> yeah, but during. Yeah, but like the moon doesn't yeah, exist. 
Oh yeah, I forgot he blew it up. You pick, pick a little food bone up. Are you gonna go to Namek? <laughs> the new Namek? <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. You gotta follow him there. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> you think they would welcome Vegeta there? Vegeta killed a lot of people there. That's their first one. But they're gonna be Vegeta stronger than all of them. What you gonna do? You not gonna let me in? If you don't let me stay, I'll blow it up for you. But then again, Saul just follow him. That's where he goes. He's not gonna stop till he wipes out all the Saiyan monkeys, and rightfully so. You know? Yeah, but anyway. Going but, out oh, the Alrighty then. <laughs> That's what I wanted to ask you about. I forgot, when exactly did um, Frieza drop the bomb inside of the planet to blow it up? When he really, he, when he did that in the last ditch effort, right? It was like during the earlier part before he even achieved, like reached his 100% full power. But he did that in like a last ditch effort? He did that as, he pretty much, he... He had the energy bomb. He, he he pretty much charged the energy bomb and just threw it down at the planet. He was just pretty much panicky at that point and wasn't even really thinking. So straight. can we make an <laughs> argument? Goku is indirectly responsible for the destruction of the original planet. Now. Oh yeah. Okay. Why? Uh, cause Goku could have just murdered his ass. Yeah, took him out. Yeah, but we wouldn't have much of a story arc. Here's the thing. The, the plot of Dragon Ball Z only goes forward if the characters do something stupid. Yeah. They have to do something stupid. <laughs> rule of thumb. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's called a, you know, a character has to hold the idiot ball, okay? Pretty much think of the orb of confusion from Spongebob. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. oh, if that's the case, then we could say that that's none of the people's fault for perfect self. Hey, put it this way. It's like some of these shonen animes is pretty much you got to be stupid. Like, of course, we know Naruto is like that way. But we'll save that as a conversation for another time, okay? Yeah, We're not going to talk about it. this one. But day. pretty much, yes. It was his fault. You could say that a lot of it was his fault. He could have just did it right then and there. But, oh uh, well, you know, well, really, what the fuck are you going to do at this point? <laughs> I forgot about that, the orbit confusion. Yeah. Uh, I think the last time I saw a Spongebob episode was 2007. <laughs> Uh, I guess then that was the case that it would have been Goku would have been a large portion too. He would have been sitting right next to Vegeta. So, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but you gotta remember Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, all that. It's a story, very inconsistent, but it's a story. Yeah, it's a story. It's got a lot of fans. We all love yeah, it, we, and we all love to. Here's the thing: want to know why we love it? We love to argue about it. It's like, wait, what's up with this? This is going on. He makes some really great talking points. Yes. Why do you think we have so many fucking good co ass conversations? We're having one right now. You missed these, motherfucker. Oh, did I? I missed this Alrighty then. All right, that's enough for this one.